Hi guys, and uh, welcome to what is going to be um, a really intensive course on how to make a small business website in six simple steps. Now, I want the videos to go long to really give you a visual aspect of it. And really, you know, some people are better at learning from reading and some people are better from learning from video. And, and that's why I want the videos to go along with each of these categories. Now, it's not a course, really. I want it to be a guide. I want it to help small business owners like yourself to build that first website. I have a uh, firm belief that the internet should be sexy again and knocking something quick up on Wix or Squarespace is just not going to cut it long term for your business in my opinion. So there are several steps we need to go through to make sure your website is at its best that it can do but as cheaply and as quick and efficiently as you can do. So lesson one is going to be about domain names and hosting. What is a domain name? Why do you need one? What is hosting? Why do you need it? And where are you going to get it all from? So we're going to cover all of those aspects really quickly in lesson one, if that's what we want to call it. It's a section, really. I don't want these to be lessons. Um, I want them to help you and guide. So secondly, we're going to look at, as I mentioned before, there's plenty of platforms available wix and squarespace and so on to build a website for me the best you can go with is wordpress for many many reasons it powers well over 50 percent of all internet uh, websites including the bbc forbes and massive corporation websites and i only ever build on wordpress for many reasons so we're going to look at what is WordPress, why are we going to use WordPress, and how do we get everything set up correctly to use WordPress? Then part of WordPress is, is um, themes. So there's hundreds of different, thousands of different themes available, you know, um, from something that's pretty much pre done, you just got to go in there and change text, to blank canvases that you can build. A website from scratch to suit yourself. We're going to look at ch choosing the right theme, where we get the themes from, and then we're going to look at the page builders we can use from, you know, Bakery, Elementor, uh, Avada Theme Builder, Visual Composer, and all these sort of theme builders that are available, drag and drop theme builders, and we're going to have a look at which is the best one to use in combination with the best theme to use. Then we're going to start looking at uh, plugins. What is a plugin? Which ones are essential? Which ones are going to help you as a small business owner actually benefit your business? So. We've got stuff that's going to help you to sell products. We're going to look at stuff that's going to help you with search engine optimization, with page speed, and making your website look even better. Then the longest section, um, section five or lesson five, is building that first website. We're going to sit down in front of the computer and we're going to build a landing page for a small local business. And you can follow me step by step building out that website. That way you'll be able to see how the elements of the theme builder work, how to change colors, how to change fonts, how to change images, how to add, you know, effects to images and all different elements to building that first initial landing page for your website. Then we're going to go through a bit of a checklist. The most important part of this whole guide is launching your website. If you do not launch it correctly, then your clients are not going to know about it. They're not going to find you as a business owner and you're not going to get the sales. And you, the whole of the process before that is going to be pointless, basically. So we're going to be looking at launching your new website and the best process that we can go through to actually do that to let your customers know here i am i've got a new website come and have a look at it i'm going to drop in a few resources and a bit of a conclusion um, as well and there'll be a 
couple of things that you can download, some checklists or um, and some plugins and resources there as well, where you can just have a look through and, and help you on your way. Then finally, um, if you jump over to Facebook, look at groups and search for the digital marketing revolution, you'll be able to join my Facebook group where we can talk about any of these problems that you might have, discuss them and really help you move forward. Alternatively, you can always drop us an email at scottlavendigital.com. You know, um, there's forms all over the website. Just drop us an email and you, one of the team members or myself will be able to jump on and help you out at any of these steps as well. So let's have a look at lesson one. Um, if you click on read lesson from this homepage section, you'll be able to <clears throat> jump over to that section and join me over there.